you expect nothing ever happens during the weekday nights. They just saved up for a weekend. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna head out and see if I can find some place to park and catch up on some paperwork. Yeah, me too. Thank God it's a quiet night. Thank what you. we didn't know was there was an actual robbery in progress nearby. That night, a high school student named Todd Lynch had decided to do some robberies and roped in his 15-year-old cousin named Moses Fitz and a 20-year-old friend nicknamed Duke. The game plan was simple for them. They would hit as many convenience stores as possible before the sun came up. In their first 40 minutes, they had robbed three stores. After this robbery, they had decided to split up the money. We're smoking, hot as hell, homes. Three jobs in one night, that's hot. So what we get for all of our hard work, man? 80, 90, 300. Yeah, you brothers, it's real hot, ain't you? Look, we've been at the place on 31st Street. That's where all the real money is. And now I thought something was wrong. Then I saw the kid running. When he started to walk, I knew something was up. So I decided to check out the car. I figured maybe he or the other two had broken into it. So I was going to spin around, do a quick check, and try and keep them all in sight. Hey guys, what's going on? We're just taking a leak in the bushes. Whose car is this? I don't know. You got any ID, boys? I ain't got none of them. So where do you live? Just a couple blocks from here, man. All units, please suspend all but emergency traffic. Green Charlie 8, near a feature location. Okay, guys. We'll get a lot of guns out here. Just for your safety and mine. I have to pat you guys down, make sure there's no weapons on you. Okay? Okay. You're the cop. <laughs> Who lived nearby, heard the shots, and ran to help. Bring me a first aid kit. 
I passed out a few times before the ambulance got there, but they kept bringing me around. They saved my life. They kept me going. Let's find this super bitch. All right, we got you, Craig. about that night, I try to view it from a third-party perspective. People say what I did was amazing, but I don't think of it that way. I think it was just survival, trying to stay alive, and a lot of luck. Somebody upstairs liked me enough to keep me around for a while, and I guess it helped that I was really angry. I knew I was not going to let somebody kill me. I've gone over this whole thing a hundred thousand times in my mind, and I know I made some mistakes. All in all, I think this experience has made me a better cop. is eligible for parole when he turns 25. Moses Phipps pled guilty to two counts of armed robbery and was sentenced to eight years. Neither Phipps nor Lynch would testify against their accomplice, Duke. He was never prosecuted. Officer Craig Chu spent 11 months recovering from his wound and is back on the beat as a canine handler. He received the Blue Star Medal from his department for his actions that night.